225 smokers to the Spurgeon Piper. This is Wilson with you. So today for our Friday tobacco review, we are covering a Samuel Galwith blend, and that is KC Flake, or maybe you knew it as uh, Kindle Cream Deluxe Flake. Um, I've only known it as this. But let me touch on that just up front because it may throw some in confusion. Um, maybe in the, within the past year, maybe two years, so I'm not sure of the timeline, uh, the due to EU regulations, Samuel Galwith had to change the name of this blend from uh, Candle Cream Deluxe Flake to KC Flake. And apparently it was only in European countries. However, as I'm in the United States, I did receive it as this. And I have noticed on another website that's in the United States, you can buy it as this um, title. So I, I don't know all the issues going on there, why that change exactly, uh, but bear in mind, it is the same blend as Candle Cream Deluxe but now it has been shortened to KC, Flake, whatever reason. All right, so let's get more into it. Um, let me give you a background of the blend as far as what it is, what type, um, the tin, uh, tin description. Um, Samuel Galthus says that it is a selection of blended Burleys and Virginias, uh, which offer a mild and creamy smoke from a medium density flake. With an added essence, the pipe smoker who derives pleasure from an easy to rub out flake will certainly enjoy Kindle Cream Flake. So speaking of the flake itself, let's go ahead and take a look at it. And here we are with the Kindle Flake or KC Flake. As you can see, there's the distinction of Virginia, a little bit of brighter leaf red, and the burly going on in this uh, in this flake and it's a thick flake um, as you can see it's it's quite solid you know you have some flakes that tear apart pretty easily um, some that come a little bit more solid and this is on the solid side though it does tear apart easily um, but it will require a bit of drying out because of the thickness um, but then it comes like in a size of a big size of a stick of gum um, if you will you know, that that's what it kind of came across as to me but overall good looking flake as I mentioned, um, it comes on the moist side. I had to open up this tin um, and keep it open for about two or three hours, somewhere around there maybe. Um, I, I left it open for a while. The, the flakes are thick um, and they are quite moist, which is usually a characteristic of Samuel Galwith blend. So what I do in packaging and all that stuff is I aired it out, then I take the flake and I do crumble it. Though I've now gone to keeping my flakes whole this one needs to be, for myself, needs to be rubbed out. So I rub it out and I um, gravity feed it into my bowl and I just lightly tap it. Um, so there, there's my method and it gives me a pretty consistent smoke. All right. So brand Samuel Galwith blended by them, manufactured by them. It's a Virginia Burley, as I mentioned. Um, the the uh, additions or flavorings is uh, a creamy essence, a floral essence, and then there's an other miscellaneous whatever that is, 50 gram tins, apparently comes in bulk. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure if that's available in the United States. Uh, it does say it's available now, like on smokingpipes.com. I bought mine from the Country Squire. However, those places I think are all sold out. Um, but I did pull up just recently a place called uh, watchcitycigar.com. Watchcitycigar.com. I've never ordered from them. They may be amazing, they may be horrible, I don't know, but they do have it available if you're really wanting to buy some for yourself. Uh, WatchCityCigar.com, check that out if you're wanting to get yourself some. On TobaccoReviews.com, it has 155 reviews with a 2.9 rating, so it's a little above average on there. Uh, I am smoking, I didn't mention this, I am smoking it out of my 05 Atlantic Peterson. Um, so as you see here, which is a newer pipe I've purchased, and I don't know if I really talked about it yet. Um, I think only in the United States, and I don't, correct me if I'm wrong, um, I believe in the United States it's only available uh, through TobaccoPipes.com. Alright, so overseas I think there's a variety of places you can get it, but so far I believe, and I think this is what I heard on the Country Squire radio, um, TobaccoPipes.com are the only source, or is the, is the only source for it. So bear that in mind. Um, I love the look of it. Um, the idea of the Atlantic Ocean with a bit of the more green, a uh, creamy green uh, stem, and then the uh, blue tint on the bowl itself. Uh, and the 
rustication has like the look of waves. Um, it's not really easy to see maybe on here, but I really, when I saw that, I really wanted it. Um, and so I, I did pick one up and I sold another pipe. Um, but so far I've been happy with it. I've had about two or three weeks. So there you are. That's all I'm smoking it out of today. So with that said, let's, let's slide it up again. Um, I've already smoked half of this bowl and we'll talk a little bit more about it. Now, while I'm lighting it and, and getting reacquainted with it, let me just mention that the uh, listed um, listed features of it or attributes, um, the room note is listed about as pleasant, I guess. Um, the taste is medium to full, I would agree with. Flavoring is rated as mild, agreed with, and strength is medium, um, I would also agree with. So. Being a Burley blend and the nicotine content there, um, or in, in, in the Virginias as well, um, I would say it's about medium, um, maybe no more than that. I, I've had no issues smoking a couple of bowls back to back of this blend. So it's a, it gives off a thick, uh, creamy smoke, as you probably saw there. Um, probably likely mostly from the Burleys there, but um, that creamy essence is very noticeable along with the Lakeland essence or the floral essence. Now, if you're not familiar with Samuel Galwick blends, that's what they're known for, Lakeland essence. I was interested in this blend because it was a Virginia Burley, which I've been um, keen on as of late, and um, they it sounded similar to Stonehenge Flake, which is one of my loves. I really have been grateful, or I really enjoyed the, the floor essence in that. Um, and so I wanted to pick some of this up. I like the Lakeland essence. Not everyone does. As if you've been around long enough, you know that. So if you're someone who doesn't enjoy the Lakeland essence, do not pick this up. Um, it is a, it's noticeable, and I, I think it would be a, be a turnoff. Virginias are more darker side. I mean, I don't taste, I taste a bit of like grassy notes or maybe even herb notes. So it's not your typical bright Virginia grass, but more herby. I'm not sure if that's coming from the Virginias or something else. Not a really sweet blend at all. The Virginias are a bit more woody and uh, or, or earthy, I, I probably would say and a bit of spice. The other blend I call I recall to mind and it's not like this so don't, don't I'm not making a comparison but the another blend that's similar given off a of spice from Virginia's uh, was the Green Dragon from the Country Squire. Again, not like this blend. I'm not making a comparison other than to say the spice here may be coming from the Virginia's themselves. I like that blend. The Burleys are, are nutty. Um, it, you know, your typical characteristic of Burley is it's it's nutty, uh, maybe woody itself. A bit of molasses, and, and the Virginias are giving off some sweetness. Not a lot, but they you know they meld to give off a, a sweeter molasses note. Not strong compared to other blends on that regard, though. So it's, it, it's, it's a, in one way, a typical Virginia Burley mix, though the floral and Lakeland essence, or I should say the floral slash Lakeland essence and the creamy addition, I do enjoy. And I like that. And it does set it apart uh, from your other blends out there. Um, it smokes clean. Um, I don't get a lot of, a lot of moisture issues with it as far as going through the blend, um, which again, you need to air, you need to air it out, dry it out some. But it's not one that I've picked up and said, hey, this is going to be something I smoke quite often. I do enjoy it. It doesn't reach the mark for me of, you know, 
a top 12 or top 15 or what have you. Um, as of late, I have pulled it out time to time. And um, if I want something a bit more, I don't know, less sweet and, and something more creamy and something uh, along that lines, it's a, it's, it's a blend that suits that, uh, that desire. Uh, but if I was going to compare it to something else, it's really not too much like Stonehenge Flake. Obviously, it's a Virginia Burley Stonehenge as Perique edition. Um, it's it's going to be similar to Burley Flakes. If you've had a Burley Flake, all right, that's that's going to be um, something that is in line with. So um, if you had Bur Virginia Burley Flakes and you you are at least okay with Lakeland Essence blends, give it a try. I mean, I, I enjoy it. Uh, for myself, it's on top top uh, doesn't get into the top 10 or top 15 but enjoyable i'd probably rate it around like a right at a seven um so it's on the medium above medium mark for me um again not something i want to i'm going to go out and get more of this blend or tin right here is closed um, the other one is opened uh, and that's probably all i need all right uh, so there you are uh, guys give it a try if you if you're wanting it watch city Cigars, try them, try them out. If not, keep your eye open on Country Squire cigars, smoking pipes, tobacco pipes, those places, and you just have to catch it when they're released, like some other blends, like Rat Ray blends, things like that. So there you are, guys. I hope you all have a good week. Um, next week we'll be back with a different video on Tuesday, which I'm looking forward to, and another tobacco review uh, on Friday. So be sure to like and subscribe. That's a great help for me. Till then, y'all take care. We'll talk to y'all soon. Thank you.